Okay, so in this video, we're going to optimize uh, utility with a Cobb Douglas utility function. So, since it's Cobb Douglas and it's continuous at every point, we can use Lagrange multipliers to optimize it. And uh, we need to write the equation for the Lagrangian first. So, write the utility function and then plus this lambda times the budget, which we can write as 50 minus 2q1 minus 2q2. We'll use that to put in here. And then we want to take the partial derivative of this Lagrange equation uh, for q1, q2, and for lambda. So we'll start with q1. Point 0.2 q1 to the negative point 0.8 and q2 to the point 0.8 and then taking the inside of derivative of the inside of this we get negative 2 times lambda and we want to set each of these to 0 and then we can take partial derivative for q2 we get 0.8 times q1 to the point 0.2, q2 to the negative point 0.2, and you can see we're going to get the same deal here. It's uh, negative 2 times lambda. And then finally for lambda, it's going to be uh, a little bit easier. We just take the derivative of this section, because there's no lambda in that part, and we get 50 minus 2q1 minus 2q2 equals 0. And so now we have to solve for q1, q2, and lambda. And for Cobb-Douglas, the easiest way to do this is going to be dividing these top two partial derivatives of q1 and q2. But first we want to move these two lambdas to the other side. So we can write this whole equation as this over here. And we'll do the similar thing for the partial derivative of q2. And then we're going to divide these two. And when we divide it like this, we can cancel the lambdas. And so now we just have two variables q1 and q2. We'll write the new equation over here. 0.2 divided by 0.8 is going to be 1 fourth. And then we'll have a q2, q2 on top and a q1 on the bottom. And 2 over 2 is 1. So we can get this relationship for q1 and q2. And we'll just solve for uh, q2 here. And we'll get it equals 4 q1. Now we can plug that in down here to the partial derivative of lambda and we get 50 minus 2q1 minus 8q2 equals 0 and so 50 equals 10 sorry this should be a q1 there 10q1 and so we get q1 equals 5 and q2 equals 4q1, so q2 will equal 20. And there you have it.